Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn how to install GitLab Runner on Windows. So let's start. So in this video we will cover how to download and install GitLab Runner on Windows. Register GitLab Runner and register GitLab Runner services. Okay. So firstly we will see what is meant by GitLab Runner. GitLab Runner is used to CI/CD means continuous integration and continuous delivery to run jobs in pipeline. It is open source continuous registration service. GitLab Runner is a build the instance which is used to run the jobs over multiple machines and send the result to GitLab and which can be placed on separate users, servers and local machines. You can register the runner as share or group or project after installing it. Okay. So see different types of the GitLab runner. So here three types are present in the GitLab runner, share runner, group runner and project runner. We will see step by step. So first one GitLab runner. GitLab runner are available for the jobs that have same requirement for multiple projects. If you use multiple runner for many projects or jobs, then it avoid using single runner or minimum runner for many projects. For example, if you, uh, you have multiple projects for that share runner, okay, multiple project for that share runner, then we can use only single runner or minimum runner for that multiple projects. If you have in that project, same requirement or same jobs for that. Okay. So it is used to first in, first out way. Okay. Share runners are available to all groups and projects in a GitLab executor. Executor means what we can access through the, it means instant, shell, docker, like that. Group runners. Group runner are available for many projects or multiple subgroup in a single group to access to set of runners. Take an example for group runner. If you have a single group, in that single group, you have multiple projects or multiple subgroups. And in that subgroup, multiple projects are present. Okay. That time, you can access the set of runners. Okay. So it is used first in, first out, same as the share runner. Okay. So next one is project runner. Project runner are available for specific requirement for jobs in one project at a time. So specific requirement for that uh, one project. Okay. That time you can use project runner. Okay. So now we will see. How to install GitLab Runner on window. So let's see how to download it and install on the window. Okay. This is the official website. From here, you can download the binary file. Okay. So simply you can open the browser and search the download GitLab Runner on window. Open it. And this is the official website which we see here. Okay. So click on this link, install GitLab Runner on window. And see here installation. Okay. So download the binary for 64 bits and or 32 bits. Okay. So as your uh, system requirement or system OS, if your system 32 bits or 64 bits, you can download as your system OS. Okay. So I will go to the 64 bits. Okay. So I have already downloaded this file here. Okay. In that download, get lab runner window. Okay. So let me copy this binary and go inside the C drive, means local disk, and here create a new folder. And give the name for that folder, GitLab-Runner. 
and go inside that the boulder and here we have to paste this binary file okay paste here after that you have to rename it so what we have to rename this name gitlab runner okay now this step is completed so see so we are download the 64 bit binary after that we create the folder as a gitlab runner after that this downloaded file we are paste in that folder okay and rename this folder after that we have to open command prompt run as administrator if you get the message like do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device simply say yes in that command prompt you have to go inside that folder which we created so go cd c colon backslash gitlab dash runner enter after that we have to install the gitlab runner okay so let me copy this command gitlab runner dot exe install using this command we can install the gitlab runner let me copy this and paste it command prompt okay now it's installed or not properly we can check the using this command gitlab runner hyphen b or gitlab runner hyphen version okay both are correct so see gitlab runner version 16.1.0 okay so this first step is completed here next step is register gitlab runner okay now we have to register the gitlab runner so using this gitlab runner dot exe register this command we can register okay let me copy this and paste it command after that you will you have to enter gitlab instance url so simply this url i will copy and paste now enter the registration token for that registration token you can you have to sign in gitlab account okay you have to sign in gitlab account and go to the project and in that project in that left side in the left side here setting in that setting ci cd okay you have to go inside that and here runners are runner is present and go inside that or simply click on this expand and here three runners are present project runner share runner and group runner okay so i will go go with the project runner okay because i, I want to use only specific requirement for that single project okay so how we can copy the register token so simply go here three dots and click on here registration token so click on this and copy this registration token or simply you can create a new click on this new project runner okay so go here and paste token after that we have to enter the description for the runner so i will enter uh, for that description use project project runner use okay so after the here enter the description tag enter the tag name for runner so what is meant by tag name so see here in that chair runner chair window window like that this is a tag name okay so tag name is window if you have to give the multiple tag name for that runner then use separate by comma 
and layoffs like that. Okay, enter and enter optional maintenance note for the runner. I will skip enter simply and register registering runner succeeded. Now you have to enter the executor. Here multiple executor are present. Docker, shell, Docker, autoscaler, parallel, like that. Virtual box, Docker machine. So I will go to instance. Enter. And runner register gets successfully. Okay. And in that uh, configuration, watch save in runner folder in config.toml okay so let's see here config and open with the notepad and you can see the configuration okay for that runner so see this is a project name okay runner name url id token like that executor okay these are the details of the config configuration okay so now after that after that you have to simply refresh the gitlab account and again you have to go inside that runner okay now see see here this is assigned project runner which we which were we created okay which where we created, okay? Now, next step, all these operations we will perform, okay? So enter executor like that. After that, we have to refresh the GitLab page, okay? And this is the config, configuration files. After that, we will see next step GitLab runner services. So to print the status for that GitLab runner service, then see simply use GitLab runner status. Let me copy this command and paste here. Then see GitLab runner service has stopped. Okay. So what we have to do, it start, so simply use GitLab runner start command, okay. So now you can see the status for that. So GitLab runner service is running now, okay. Now I will stop it. This service I will stop. Then see status, and service has stopped, okay. After that, again start and now i have to restart the service okay means it stop and immediately start the service using this gitlab runner restart okay these are the gitlab runner services okay so now last one or next step is you install gitlab runner so what we have to do firstly we have to do stop the service okay stop this gitlab runner okay and after that stop i will uninstall this service okay i will uninstall it and you see the status for that then see you get the message as a fail to stop gitlab runner because it service specified service does not exist installed service okay so what is meaning? It's a uninstall it. Okay. So now you have to install the service. Again, you can use GitLab Runner install. Okay. And see now status. See again service has stopped. Okay. So in this video, we will cover. We were covered topics are how to download and install GitLab Runner on window, register GitLab Runner, GitLab Runner services. So thank you for the watching video.